journey from Cork. On our way out now, I'm going to Dublin for lunch. Three hours in the fast train, probably two hours sitting in a bloody station for a connection. But sure, we'll do our best. We'll do our best. What more can I say? Now, a lovely story in this morning from uh, my friend Linda in Chicago. Chicago. And she tells me that uh, she was on a train going up to Washington for a wedding. And across the way from her was this very loud, ignorant man. And he was from Dublin. Shock. Horror. A Dublin ignorant man in America. Can't possibly. She went over to him, drew him aside, and told him, you dirty knacker. And he shut up for the rest of the journey. He was so shocked. He didn't know what to say. An American. And I have to tell you, when Linda says, you dirty knacker, she's not smiling like I am. He shut up all the rest of the journey. Not a peep out of him. He was so shocked. So you see, my teaching is actually very, very good. It's international. International! You didn't think of that, did you? I am proud of Linda. And I think all my friends should go over to anyone they want and just say, yeah, dirty knacker. But if you're only joking, smile. Otherwise, you might have no head left. But if you're serious, do as Linda does. Yeah, dirty knacker. Yeah. I'm quite right, too. Bravo! Good morning now from Bernetti. I'm on my way to... Uh, well, certainly not knackered them, but there's plenty of them around. Goodbye.